Good morning to our brothers and sisters in Christ. We are here at this particular time with two of our ministers of Pilgrim Baptist Church, and that of uh, Minister Sharon McNeil and that of uh, Dr. Ron Whitaker. Uh, questions have been posed since the coronavirus has been upon us, and they're coming in their own way to respond to the questions that they have received. We're going to have Brother Whitaker to come first, and then we will have Sister McNeil. God bless you, and I hope you gain the information that is desired from their response. Praise the Lord, saints. Uh, so one of the big uh, the, the questions that I've heard quite frequently is, uh, as Christians, even though we live by faith, how do we cope with the natural realities of the COVID-19 pandemic? Uh, and what I would like to do is just give you uh, a passage of scripture that I think can encourage you, and then I want to add a little context to it. So James chapter 1 says this in verse 2, Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds. So let me just stop there real quickly and just encourage some individuals that might be struggling uh, even though the world has lost its mind and even though we're seeing bad news on CNN and MSNBC and Fox News, I want to encourage somebody that our joy is not predicated by natural realities, right? Because our joy comes from our relationship with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So even in the midst of what's going on, we cannot lose our joy. So if you're feeling, if you're feeling depressed today or anxious or worried, I want to encourage you that this is a good time for you to get into the Word and get into some worship. Amen? Whether you're in your apartment or whether you're, uh, you know, laying up in your bed, make sure that you do not lose your joy. But then the, the text goes on to say this, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. You know, I, I was thinking about this, Minister McNeil, that perhaps this is an opportunity for us as Christians to go a little bit deeper in our prayer life. You know, so often we just want to give God maybe two minutes in the morning and maybe two minutes at night, but maybe God is calling his people now to go deeper in their prayer life, to go deeper in their worship life, to go deeper even in trusting him with what's going on, right? So we got to keep on uh, with uh, believing and we got to press through this thing. Then it says in verse 4, let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete and not lacking anything. You know, uh, even though we're hearing some sobering statistics uh, through the airways, as Christians, we can look at this as an opportunity for God to raise us up to the next level. So, you know, if you're struggling with everything that's going on, let me just encourage you. Number one, don't lose your joy. Number two, keep persevering. You know, continue with your Bible study. Continue with your prayer life. Continue with your worship. Continue to speak words of faith. But then number three, believe God that he's doing some things, not only in your life, but also in your family's life and in the church's life, right? He's maturing us through the situation. That's what I have to offer. Praise God. I just want to keep you encouraged during this time. Ecclesiastes 3 says, To everything there is a season, and a time to every purpose under the heavens, and a time to be born, a time to die. A time to plant, a time to pick up that which is planted. I just want to keep you encouraged and to reflect on that the beauty of God is still in the midst. Even though that you're home and you can't come out, you just stick with your loved ones because what? Love. Put on your love. Put on your fried fruits and be one that worship God. Because in due time, he will come back. So while we're home, we must stay encouraged. We must pray for one another. We must put on the armor of God, for it is not the end. In verse 11, it says, he has made 
everything beautiful in time and also has set the world in their heart. So God is still with us. Don't forget, he loved us. He cares for us. So keep on praying, keep on believing, stay strong, pray for one another, comfort one another, and know that he is the great I am, the everlasting Lord, the Prince of Peace, the beginning and the end. God bless you. Many questions have arisen since the coronavirus has taken hold. Many of us who are accustomed to coming into the house of God and worshiping him in his sanctuary find ourselves confined within our own homes. Well, we are now bringing the church to you. And we are so grateful that God has given us the technology to do so. Many have asked, well, Pastor, I can't praise him like I used to praise him because we can't come to church. Well, praise him in your house. Praise him in your home. Praise him by continually sending your gifts to the church, either by bringing them by or by way of PayPal. We encourage you that at this time, Worship the Lord, not only in your praise, your reading, your studying, but in your giving. Know that the ministry of the gospel still has to go forward. We are so happy that we have a media team that is able to help us to get the message out to the masses. Not only to those who are of the people my family, but now we will reach other, other parts of the nation. Hopefully these words will be inspiring to each and every one that listen in to the Pilgrim Baptist Church audio ministry. So we are grateful to God. We thank God for giving us this time. Pilgrim, pray for one another. Nation, let us look to God for our help. And remember what the word of God has taught us. Lo, I am with you always even until the end of the world, the age, or time. Be blessed in the Lord, my brothers and sisters, for we love you, and there's nothing you can do about it. Pastor's encouraging us this morning. We also need to encourage him, for he is the other shepherd at Pilgrim Baptist. So we're just saying now, that you just pray for your pastor and his family and the whole Pilgrim family. And the verse that I would like to use to encourage Pastor Rector is coming out of Matthew, the 24th chapter, verse 6. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. So, Pastor, keep preaching the gospel, for we need it now. For in this verse, Jesus was warning many of his coming. And before such an event, the gospel has to be preached throughout the world. Amen. Amen.